What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. So after we create our sloped roof last video, which is this one. So we are going to create another roof and we are going to create another slope roof. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to create the roof here. Okay, so the shape of the roof that we will be creating is like a V-shaped roof in this area here of our uh, model, the pavilion area. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna change my floor plan view to third floor because that is the nearest floor to this uh, area of our building. So I'm gonna open 03 floor and then I'm gonna zoom in here, right? And then to start create roof, so let's go to the roof here so we have several options here in creating our roof but for this one so i'm going to use the simplest one which is roof by footprint so it creates a roof using the building footprint to define its boundary okay so i'm going to select roof by footprint and then here so the default option here is pick walls okay so in which you just need to click the existing uh walls for you to be able to create the boundary of the roof okay so you also have here pick lines so you can create the boundary of the roof by clicking the sides of the uh the area where you want to create the foot the footprint of the roof okay so this time i'm just gonna use here uh, pick lines and then you also have other options here other shape uh, creation tools that you can use to shape up your roof but for this one I'll just use peak lines boundary line okay so I'm gonna make sure that defines slope here is check and then the offset here so let's say I'm gonna type two feet enter and then I will be creating my roof to that side okay if I'm going to lower down my pointer the boundary will show below right that dotted line so that is the the preview so i'm gonna move my pointer up so that the boundary will be created on that side so i'm gonna pick okay so there is a slope there and then i'm gonna click this one as well all right and then um i'm gonna change this one so i'm gonna uncheck define the slope and then i'm gonna specify the offset here so instead of uh, two i'm gonna type one for one foot and then I want to create the boundary here there you go and then I'm going to select the line tool and make sure the offset here is zero because I just want to close the boundary so I'm gonna click that endpoint and then I'm gonna click this endpoint here all right and then using trim extend to corner so I'm gonna click this line here and then this line to close that side same with this one there you go okay so in creating your roof footprint so make sure the boundary is close no intersection no overlapping and it should be close all right so let's finish this one so let's click finish edit mode and there you go so if we are going to check that in the 3d view so this is now how it looks like right so i'm gonna click this and then i'm gonna orbit so this is now how it looks like so this is not what i want so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to edit the roof i want this to be inverted so i'm gonna edit the slope here so going back to my roof here or to my floor plan view so view tab so i'm gonna select here tile views so that i can also see the 3d view here so that's the 3d view and then here's my floor plan view so i'm gonna edit the footprint so select the roof and then select edit footprint just click that one and we're gonna change the slope here so i'm gonna select this line here so instead of nine inch uh, nine inches over 12 inches i'm gonna make this uh, minus uh, let's say six inches okay so i'm gonna copy that because i'm gonna use that value also to the other line 
Okay, so that's the slope there. And then click this line here. And then let's change the slope here. And then Control V to paste it. And then click outside. There you go. Okay, and then after that, select check here to finish edit mode. And there you go. Right? So you will notice now here that our uh, wall here, our curtain wall is not nicely attached to our roof. Okay? So if ever you encounter this dialog box wherein it asks you if you want to attach the wall to the bottom of the roof, you can select yes and it will automatically connect to the bottom of the roof. It just so happened that in this exercise, I already did that earlier when doing this one when I haven't recorded it yet. Okay, so now I don't uh, see that dialog box. So I'm just going to attach these walls here manually to the roof. So to do that, so I'm going to select here modify. So I need to select all the walls here. So this wall, this wall here. And then this wall here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my pointer just like that. And then I'm going to press the tab once. Just press the tab once. Press. And then it will highlight the chain of walls or lines. So once you see that, click it for you to be able to select the chain of walls. So after you select the chain of walls, you can now go to the modify wall panel. And then you can now select attach top base so we are going to select this one and then we're going to select the roof where we want to attach the walls click and there you go so i just need to select your modify to deselect it and there you have it it's now nicely attached to our roof okay so that's it for this simple exercise so again if you have any comments questions or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.